Hi guys, Jason here and welcome back to the second episode of my FIFA 17 Road to Glory. Now, as you can probably already tell from the title of this video, I do go and get an absolutely insane player. I go and pack the Argentina striker Sergio Aguero, so you're going to see that on the screen in a few minutes. But as you may know already, if you watched the first episode, I asked you guys to ask me some questions in the comment section below and on Twitter so you know I can have something to talk about while I show you the guys the gameplay. So the first question comes from Chili Plays, and he's actually a really good YouTuber as well. He has his own YouTube channel, so I will actually leave a link to it in the description below, and I'd go and uh, check it out if I was you. So he asked me, do you think one to watches should be upgraded for every special card they get apart from Team of the Seasons? So yeah, I think that's probably actually a very good idea. Even maybe Team of the Seasons, at, when like um, the one to watch cards were first released, I thought you know it was going to upgrade the card for like whatever card they got. So say if they got a Team of the Season card, the one to watch card would go to the same rating. So yeah, I think it would be a really good good idea if next year one to watch cards um, they do go to you know the same rating not just the inform card so yeah I think that's a very good idea but I think this will actually make them one to watch cards far more expensive like you know Kante's card it would probably be like 600 700 K probably even more actually so that's only the one disadvantage and I think the reason EA haven't done that because you know the one to watch cards will be so expensive if they did do that but yeah I think it's a pretty good idea now the second question comes from Andrea Skills and he asks, what do you recommend when you play a skill game against a container? I mean every time when I play people hold who hold LT slash um, L2 and my player makes mistakes and lose the ball, it's fucking um, annoying. So yeah, I do really like understand this question. It's very hard to skill against people who contain all the time. Um, if you're a skiller, you'll know this. You know, some people, they literally just um, watch you do skill moves. They don't try and tackle you. And, you know, it's really hard to beat people with skills when they do that. But what I would recommend, literally, there is nothing you can do. If somebody's, like, containing you, I'll just try and play competitively. Because, literally, EA have made it so AI defending is so overpowered this year. So, literally, you can put your controller down and your AI, like, the AI defending will still try and tackle a player. So yeah, I'd, there's not really much you can really do in that situation. So yeah, as you saw there, um, in this team, we do actually have Aguero. I'm actually sorry, I subbed him on Aguero because um, we didn't actually have him in a team. So just subbed him on at the start of every match. And he was actually very effective. As you can see, this match here scores a really nice shot there. What well, actually hits the crossbar doesn't go in. So yeah, the second topic I wanted to talk about is foot champions. So as well guys, I asked you in the comment section below at the end of the video if you want to do foot champions. Now the main reason I wasn't sure about this was because it is scaling to um, Road to Glory. I keep calling it scaling to Glory because of Kazooie's thing. Um, yeah, but anyway, yeah, because it is a scaling Road to Glory. You know, a lot of people who do scaling don't really do foot champions because you know there's all tryhards and it's very hard to skill as you already said against um, like competitive players because they all they do is basically contain if you do skill moves so yeah I think um, you know from looking at the comment section I think I will do foot champions for one week you know test it out see what it's like I definitely won't be able to play all 40 matches I think I've only ever actually played all 40 matches once before so yeah I won't be able to play all 40 matches but maybe I can try and get to like silver or something I think that's like 14 wins so yeah maybe try and do that and as well then we go and get monthlies what will also be I think it'll be silver or maybe gold if we get silver every week and maybe gold one of the weeks I don't really know so yeah as you can see in this match though Aguero does get injured but luckily we have an injury card and go straight into the next match and at the end of next video I think you will see that we actually make a new team around Aguero so as well guys I do need to make a second team like a fitness team um, and I was thinking of maybe a calcio, uh, calcio A team so if you've got any ideas for a good cheap fitness team um, link the foothead uh, links in the description and I will go and check him out so yeah now getting into the gameplay we do some nice skills here with Al Sharari go to cross it in we play it off there to one of our plays we take the shot and his goalie saves now getting into another clip here we do some nice skills again with Al Sharari who's been probably our best player so far even though we've only got him alone does some really nice skill moves and then we get a really nice goal there with Al Sharari and I say really nice way too many times so yeah anyway we score a good goal there nice into the top corner of the net so the next thing i did want to talk about is scaling and a lot of people think you know scaling has been dead the past few years and in my opinion i don't think it is dead but i definitely think you know it's like had a huge drop especially like views on youtube because i remember in, like fifa 13 and stuff um, when I used to watch compilations, I wasn't really much of a skiller back there, but you know, they'll literally get nearly 100,000 views, um, you know, SA Sports Gaming and everything like that, and now they hardly get any views, and you know, it's pretty bad to be honest. I think the main reason 
why skilling has died is just because it's got much harder and for some reason like all now all the competitive scenes come into fifa you know not a lot of people like skilling or they just see it as like showing off so that's why i think you know but i do think actually skilling is um getting back again you know thanks to to people like Addict Skill, Toasted FIFA, you know, all these YouTubers who I think, you know, if they just carry on what they're doing, I think they will make it big and uh, yeah, hopefully you can get Skilling um, back to where it used to be in like FIFA 12 and FIFA 13 and as well, there's like really good skillers at the moment as well, such as Davs and Lokalani, you know, he's already a very big, well, not very big YouTuber, but he's quite a big YouTuber for a skiller, so you know, there's people like that who are really good still and you know, Kazooie, FIFA Rally, again, they're not getting the views they used to, but they're still uploading what's good, so they're still keeping the FIFA skilling community alive, and I just hit my mic there, so there's probably going to be a weird sound in the video. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was the upload schedule of this series. Now, I've actually pre-recorded the next four episodes already, so they should be out um, tomorrow and then the day after, but after that, I think, you know, when I get back to school, I'm not really going to have that much time to play FIFA, well, no time at all to play FIFA in the day, so I'm going to have to record it at night, so I'm probably going to upload this every other day. So, um, yeah, and another thing is, guys, in these videos, I know I call it scaling to glory, but at the same time as well, you know, I do want to win the matches, so that's why sometimes I may play a little bit competitively, but most of the time I will just be doing skills. So if you're wondering why, because, um, you know, I don't want my record to be really bad, and we actually haven't lost a match so far, what's actually very surprising. But after playing that match, as you saw there, our players were very low on fitness, and, um, yeah, so I have to apply a few fitness cards to Aguero and Al Sharari because there are two main players in the team at the moment. And actually, Vieri, our legend, ran out of contract, so we won't be able to use him at all again unless we go and pack him again in another lone legend pack. And I think you actually get a lone legend pack for completing one of the single player tournaments. So what I might do, you know, to get fitness on this team is, you know, just build a random team. Then go into that single player tournament, play it, get the pack, get some coins and get the fitness back up on my players. So I think going into the next match now, we go with the exact same team again because we don't have enough coins to upgrade any of the players. And so far I wasn't actually very impressed with the Baladoshi and Abate was okay. And then again Manone was sort of okay as well. You know, you can't really expect much from goalkeepers this year because the majority of them, you can't really tell that much of a difference in my opinion. The only really good goalie I found this year was actually Lloris. I found him very good for some reason. You know, but most goalies, you can't tell the difference between them. And it's uh, very weird because, you know, there's loads of overpowered shots this year, such as the low driven shot, a cross body shot. You know, even if you have like De Gea, Neuer or Manone, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. So now getting back into the gameplay, first of all, we take the lead in this match. We play the nice through ball to inform Banega, who we did actually pack in one of our loan reward packs for completing one of the SBCs and we get a very nice finesse shot into the net and I was actually very impressed with this Inform Monaco card I might actually try and pick him up eventually if we get the coins he seemed very agile very good for scaling and he had a decent shot on him so as you can see there Banega again doing a few skill moves taking the shot from the edge of the box but unluckily for us his goalie saves it and then later on in the match our opponent gets a really lucky goal here um, takes a shot hits off the post and then scores the rebound so for some random reason, at this part in the match, the game just decided to pause. We got the spinning wheel thing at the bottom of the screen, and for some reason, my opponent disconnected. Now, he was actually playing pretty good, and it was pretty laggy, the game, to be honest, but it's been laggy all weekend for most people, just because of the amount of people on FIFA due to the St. Patrick's Day um, hype. So yeah, for some reason, I think his internet must have gone down or something like that, because we didn't actually get disconnected from the servers. It didn't count as a loss, and we still got the match coins and everything. So after this... I do have to go and apply a few fitness cards to my players. So our two centre backs there, we do go and apply two fitness cards to them. And we also go and apply a fitness card to Bella Doshi. And I actually think at the end of this episode or the next episode, I do go and sell him on. I'm not very impressed with him and I'd rather have the coins in my club. So after applying the fitness cards to our players, we do go straight into the next match. And I was actually very impressed with that bronze cam or centre midfield with four star skills. He's actually very good and probably our second best player in the team after Al Sharari. So yeah, after that, we go straight into the second um, game of the video and we go with that nice kit that we did go and pack in the previous video. So now getting into this guy's team, he actually had a very weird team. He had a few bronze players and then he had a load of lone players that included Royce, Deli Alley, James Rodriguez, Hazard, Bellerin, downgraded, sorry, not downgraded, it's his normal card, Otamendi and the overpowered Jack Butland in net. 
So we get off to a very good start here, running down the line with Al Sharari. Do a nice skill move there to another nice skill move. I think most of these are actually running Waka Waka fails. Just because how laggy the game was, it was very hard to perform skills. But in the end, we do a nice skill move there. Go for the running Waka Waka. Go and take the shot. And he's Jack Butlin there. Gets a very nice save and tips it out for a corner. And now for some reason, again, the game just disconnected from the servers. I didn't get a loss, nor did my opponent, I don't think. So yeah, just randomly disconnected. So I went straight again into the next match. We're trying to get that promotion to get us into Division 9. And again, we get, as you can see there, the latency. It takes a bit for it to get up to a green bar. What's not the best? But we go against this Man United fan here. He goes with the um, Man United kit as well um, in the end. And then we go with our UNAM kit there. And I can't remember, actually remember this guy's team at first. Oh yeah, that was it. He had a pretty weird team again. He had a few players out of position. He had Rashford and Firmino at top. And then he randomly had Neymar at right mid. So I think maybe he must have packed him in an untradeable pack or like with our Aguero and just put him in the team and then he has that random right bronze at right, uh, right centre back so we get off to a decent start here do a few skill moves take the shot there we get it straight back here do some nice ball rolls to a nice drag back go and take the shot there but his goalie manages to tip it wide and then we cross it in from the resultant corner and we nearly score again we get a nice header there with one of our centre backs but sadly it hits the post and then later on in the match, we won through with Aguero, and Aguero does whatever he wants, literally. He's so good on this game, and just finish it off perfectly past the goalkeeper there, and we are 1-0 up in this match. Now, moving on later to the game here, we get the ball there with Aguero again, do some nice skill moves, take the shot, and we score again with Aguero, and I'm so happy I packed this Aguero card. He's probably going to be our standout player for the start of this series, and probably for the whole of the series, you know. I'm going to try and build a nice team around him very soon. So again, we get a really, really good goal here with Aguero, do a nice um, scissors to double touch spin, then we do a few more skill moves there as you can see and then do a Berbatov spin and take the long finesse shot passes Jack Butland and into the corner of the net so guys after scoring that goal we go on the attack again play it through here actually no we do a nice rainbow flick with Al Sharari run down the line do a spin inside go for the advanced Alaska top shot uh, shake uh, take the shot Jesus Christ and then we, as you can see, we win the match eventually in the end, 3-0. And we get those coins for game, uh, winning the league. I cannot speak at the moment. So anyway, yeah, we get that, get the 3-0 win, and we are promoted into a Division 9. So as you can see, we won at Division 10 without losing a match. We won four out of four matches. What means we do go and get the coin reward and win the title. So anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see another episode of my Road to Glory tomorrow, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.